How are you, Camille? I'm great, John. It's been a long time. What, where have you been? Um, all over. Just uh, well, came in from Dublin this morning. Looking forward to the madness here. But I had been in Stratford upon Avon doing um, a show with the Royal Shakespeare Company. So a completely different thing with no, them. Now, what what was that? That was um, an invitation um, uh, for uh, to work on uh, the rape of Lucrece. This poem kind of his unknown poem and myself and Fergal who were, uh, plays piano with me we, we wrote the music for it and then it turned out as we were working throughout the year on the workshops they said why don't you act it and sing it also so I ended up doing like an 80 minute show <laughs> by myself like I'm completely exhausted I can't talk normal English after I've come back but it's exciting they've now uh, commissioned it to go worldwide with the Royal Shakespeare Company since last week so we're going to go on tour You know I also had the impression that the, that the RSC were very fussy about what they let people do Well they do. mustn't be but if they let a, an Irish girl from Cork <laughs> With their beloved bard because you know Gavin Friday worked with them Yeah the yeah yeah too, and I think they were eyebrows raised I mean what I think what you too had done something and uh, things with them too. I mean, they're they're actually, it, you feel the you know because you're right in the heart of English theatre, and you feel there should be an austerity. But instead, they're actually really. Um, this whole thing was about me not being someone who's uh, you know I, I'm not taught as a Shakespeare actress. So it's the idea of you take somebody who's a narrative singer and see what they can do, and they were really. Um, uh, with open arms, do you know what I mean? Right, and uh, loving arms, and it's so nice that they will have us back again. But it was quite, f I, I was a bit freaked out that every night from the ensemble you'd spot like King Lear or like Cleopatra and you'd be going, oh no. <laughs> Speaking of the greats, there's also there's also a Tom Waits project. In there. Yeah, What's that's that about? yeah. I, I'm very lucky. I suppose you know a little gypsy lifestyle. I lead. I'm you know you never know when the next gig is going to come, but you get gems like these. And um, this is through a friend, David Coulter, who works with the people from Blur, and um, he is doing a we're doing a show in Nuit de Fauvert in France, which is in an old Roman amphitheatre, and it's uh, Tom Waits' Rain Dogs album, and we're doing it with the Tiger Lilies and oh, Saint yeah. Vincent, she, that great singer from yep. America, and then some wonderful singers from um, Sweden and uh, so it's seven of us and then we bring it to the Barbican um, Montreux, New York so again this kind of I'm, you know, I feel like I'm a well-minded cat at the moment that I'm turning up at these gigs and exciting projects because I cover songs. That's my thing. So does that does that is that a recreation of the Rain Dogs album? Is that what um, it will. It'll be our own interpretations oh. of it, and it, it, it there'll probably be like um, uh, an I don't know a ten-piece band. But what's beautiful is I played in this venue last year. Um, it's an amphitheater for uh, out in the hills up above Lyon, which is about like five thousand seater, and you kind of you're a bit startled when you go out there. You can't say much you're like wow <laughs> so uh, the uh, and he's given his, his blessing too um because david who is doing it worked with tom before on the black rider uh, as, you, as you say you do covers yeah right? there have been a lot of very good cover projects of late yeah uh, there was the nick drake one you're involved in that yeah you? that's right yeah um there was the leonard cohen one you didn't you no i wasn't but that was so uh, i did the, the hal wilner uh, yeah. rogues gallery thing in sydney yeah. but it's brilliant because i mean um we're kind of I suppose I was so embarrassed before uh, when I started singing those songs in a country that's such a singer-songwriter place. And I've kind of realised, um, you know, performance is my thing, which probably, you know, why I find myself here today for live music. But um, I, I think people are being... I think they realise the nature of telling a story or taking somebody else's song. Um, I always love, like, say, the likes of, say, hearing Nick Cave sing a Leonard Cohen or... Yeah. You know, and um, it's sometimes nice because you can take a different, you know, uh, view... Um, to I, make I that asked song you year, years ago what songs you look for. I'm just curious, have you, has your uh, <laughs> has, have the, has the criterion changed? At I all? think I'm getting more crazy and eccentric. <laughs> um, I think years ago when I did it, it was Jack Brell and Kurt Vile, kind of they're the the heroines of or heroine of my you know um, of the music I love. But m more as I'm, I mean I, I I'm quite enjoying Arcade Fire and Radiohead and. Um, uh, you know, the, even the villagers, like things that's happening contemporary, and then, of course, Nick Cave and Leonard Cohen and Bob Dylan. I mean, but you, you, you have to be so careful, uh, as you will find out later today. You, the songs you love, and uh, I try and go to the unknown ones, but today I'm going to maybe put two or three kind of well known ones in. But, um, and what do you set out to do with them? Uh, well, it's mostly, I never think of a beginning and end and middle to a, a, a show. It's more about emotions, maybe being half French and Irish. It's the melancholy. I, I, go, I like the darker side of music, and I like to bring people on a kind of, I suppose it's a theatrical journey that each song is its own monologue that you sing, and you become that um, 
person and then you switch and you change and the, the, I suppose the nicest thing is when people enjoy the show but when they say oh I didn't know which one you were so you're quite chameleon like and it's not really your interest of being Camilla Sullivan other than these amazing um, stories that you tell and I tend to go to uh, you know I like the left you know Tom Waits left aside kind of like more quirky black humour and um, so, uh, what, what, any idea what you're <laughs> going to do later? <laughs> yes, well, we're going to do, I'm going to do uh, one by, I love Nick Tave, I just, uh, we're going to do one by him, and then... Don't give us the whole set now, let's just No, just surprises. a little Brel, and I wonder, are they all men? I think that's all male stuff, but um, I was worrying that, you know, you know, <laughs> your lyric listeners will be like, what? Is that? Yeah, they're fine. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, no, they're great, I love them, and I'm very close to my, um, bunch of people in your I, I'm, I'm, I'm nearing close to the boundary where I'm from, I'm from Cork, so I've heard, I was coming down in the car, I started talking like that, <laughs> so I knew I was coming home. That's what <laughs> I got excited. So can we see you later in the afternoon? Uh, pleasure, really Thanks looking forward to it. Thank you, John. Yeah.